Hundreds of new documents released related to the Robb Elementary School shooting. We're talking phone calls, videos, and a whole lot more. This after a long legal battle. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Darian Trotter. We received those files late this afternoon and ever since News 4 San Antonio's Amanda Henderson has been sifting through them. Tonight she shares what's been revealed. The city of Uvalde is officially the first department to release their files related to the May 2022 mass shooting in which 21 people were killed at Robb Elementary. Hundreds of emails, texts, 911 calls and videos are now public, showing a new look at the response. She goes, he's right there in the black, but then rounds started coming in through the inside. And that's when I told them they were coming up this way. I told them to stand back because they were coming in. In the body camera, you hear officers asking if they need to make the whole school a crime scene, acknowledging shots fired at the school and asking if people have died. Inside, the answer to the latter was already known by the survivors. I'm sorry, there's a lot of dead bodies. In newly released 911 calls, we hear acting Uvalde police chief the day of the massacre, Mariano Pargas, learn there are survivors. It's Mariano. So how many are still alive now? Um, eight to nine are still alive. Hundreds of pages of emails reveal then Uvalde Mayor Don McLaughlin was offered assistance and provided a document on how to handle a mass shooting response. Emails from different departments also discuss Uvalde police records on the gunmen and then Uvalde CISD Chief Pete Arredondo being elected to city council. In the radio transmissions released, you hear the call to activate Uvalde SWAT and asking for EMS. Uh, contact all the schools. Have them locked down for now, Uvalde, please. The city of Uvalde reacting to the release, saying they are fulfilling their responsibility to provide responsive records, which have been appropriately redacted. And as you can imagine, there are still several files we're working to go through and write up notes for. Now, the Uvalde Police Department chief at the time, Daniel Rodriguez, he's resigned. But I did reach out to the now Uvalde Police Chief who says he welcomes transparency. So we are going to have much more on all this information on air and online. Reporting in San Antonio, I'm Amanda Henderson.